Republicans will do anything, say anything, and spend any amount of money to hide the basic truth that their leader is a criminal, corrupt, narcissistic buffoon. Donald Trump is the quintessential influence peddler in chief. Despite this, for well over a year now, House Republicans have spent dozens of hours of precious committee time hearing testimony from nearly 20 witnesses on their baseless and increasingly embarrassing attempts to link President Biden to actions of his family members and implicate him by association. Let's be clear, there is a crisis right now, but it's not because the southern border is open or because immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country which the Republicans and their racist cult leader, Donald Trump, want you to believe. The real crisis for is words one taken of, down. no, it is, he is not a current the, president. You know, the gentlelady will suspend until the motion is dealt with. But what, were the, uh, what were the offending words? The, Would Mr. Cloud state the words? Mr. Cloud, will you state the words? She mentioned that Republicans were racist. I didn't say that. I said racist cult leader, Donald Trump, who is not a current uh, president. So it is not engaging in personality. The Republican members and their. No, she's clarifying. She's not referring to Republicans in general. She was referring to one it, individual who is words, not protected by the rules. Absolutely. The words right. say which the Republicans and their racist cult leader, Donald Trump. Mr. Ranking Member, I don't think that you're the one to rule on this. I think the chair. Here, no, I was stating let's, just let's the hold, rule. Let's hold yeah. for just a moment. Let's remind ourselves what Donald Trump has said and done. He refused to turn over the classified documents in his possession to the National Archives. He is on tape sharing documents he said he could have declassified when he was president. He wrongly claimed in an interview that the Presidential Records Act allows him to do whatever he wants and he was allowed to do everything he did. He also said on his right wing social media platform, quote, I'm allowed to do all of this. He continues to admit to his possession of these documents on the campaign trail. So this hearing is not a good faith oversight effort. It is just the latest in a long line of dysfunctional and destructive actions taken by this Republican majority. And so I'll go back again, because I want that to be clear, that there is a crisis right now, but it is not because the southern border is open or because immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country, which the Republicans and their racist cult leader Donald Trump want you to believe. The real crisis is one of irregular migration. People around the world are fleeing from extraordinary levels of violence, persecution, and natural disasters. These catastrophes that force people from their homes have been fueled by longstanding US government policies supported by presidents of both parties. But instead of supporting real solutions we know will work, MAGA Republicans want to demonize and scapegoat our, Im our immigrants for short-term political gain. So let's be clear, giving in to the extreme demands of Donald Trump and, and MAGA Republicans is what will undermine our immigration system. Rejecting our obligations under the Refugee Convention will undermine our immigration system. Cruelty will undermine our immigration system and our own humanity. The real crisis is failing to act and substituting cruelty as a meaningful policy solution. We must not surrender to this failed policy approach. We must stand with the people, all the people, all of humanity, and with a fair and humane approach to immigration and foreign policy. That is what St. Louis and I will continue to push for. Thank you, and I yield back. St. Louis and I are here today once again to focus on the real issues that affect our communities instead of partisan hit jobs. Let me start by saying that the potential mishandling of classified information is a serious issue, and I believe it was appropriate for the Attorney General to appoint both special counsels in the Biden and Trump cases. As my colleagues have pointed out, President Biden fully complied with the investigation conducted by Special Counsel Herr, who did not find evidence sufficient to warrant criminal charges. Despite this outcome, Republicans have used the Special Counsel's report to further their longstanding efforts to re-elect re-elect the former white supremacist in chief Donald Trump who faces 40 criminal charges related to the mishandling of classified documents including obstruction of justice. They don't care about responsible governance or making people's lives better. Mm -mm. They don't have an affirmative agenda. They are throwing whatever they can at the wall and hoping it sticks and they have zero credibility to talk about mental acuity when they support Donald Trump. The same Donald Trump who mixes up Joe Biden and Barack Obama and Nikki Haley and Nancy Pelosi. The same Donald Trump who incorrectly pronounced the words Venezuela, 
respected, and United States. The same Donald Trump who calls January 6th defendants hostages, and the same Donald Trump who believed bleach injections would treat COVID-19. It is deeply hypocritical for anyone who champions this man for the presidency to talk about the mental acuity of anyone else. Republicans have solely focused on destroying the incumbent president, destroying the Democratic Party, destroying progressive movements for social justice, all so that they can re-elect one of the worst presidents of all time. Now, it is well known that I have disagreements with President Biden on certain issues. My concerns are rooted in the desire to resolve policy matters and help him take better positions that save more lives. That's not what Republicans are doing. That's not what these investigations and attacks are about. They are trying everything they can to turn back the clock on our rights and our freedoms, and we cannot take the bait. St. Louis and I are here today to set the record straight about this political investigation conducted on behalf of the twice impeached, twice indicted, former white supremacist in chief, Donald Trump. From the start, this entire investigation has been an attempt to undermine the findings of the Mueller investigation and distract the people of this country from Donald Trump's corruption. That's why it began just days after the release of the Mueller report. And that's why four years later, and no matter how much my colleagues across the aisle claim, otherwise, the Durham investigation did not exonerate Mr. Trump or any of his associates. Mr. Durham. I'd like to briefly discuss a few of the different Trump-related items that your report does not touch on. In the interest of time, you can just simply answer yes or no. The Mueller report found that Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort knowingly shared internal polling data and information on battleground states with a Russian spy. Did you find this to be untrue? I did not find that to be untrue. Thank you. The Mueller, thank you for that. The Mueller report found that Mr. Manafort shared this internal polling data with a Russian asset with the expectation it would be shared with Putin-linked oligarch Oleg Deripaska. Did you find this to be untrue? I didn't find it to be untrue, but I didn't look at it either. The Mueller report found that Russian military hackers first targeted Mil uh, Hillary Clinton's personal office within hours of Trump's infamous July 27, 2016 press conference, which we've heard already, where he said, Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. Did you find this to be untrue? When you say this, what? That, uh, Mr. Trump clearly said that, it was uh, publicly recorded. Did you find, the, the, the Mueller report found that Russian military hackers first targeted her personal office within hours of the infamous press conference right. where Trump said, Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails. And if that was his, did you find that to, did you find this to be untrue? I would not, I did not find that to okay, be untrue. Thank you. So again, your investigation, Mr. Durham, did not undercut the basic findings of the Mueller report. Those who read your report as exonerating Donald Trump are willfully deluding themselves and the people of this country. So instead of holding these farcical hearings about farcical investigations, I urge my colleagues my Republican colleagues to get serious and start legislating on behalf of their constituents instead of helping the twice impeached, twice indicted Donald Trump further evade accountability. Thank you, and I yield back. General A yields back. Gentleman from Texas, recognized.